Welcome inside the Convocation Center where Ohio cruises to its sixth straight victory, knocking off the Central Michigan Chippewas today, 68 to 42. Ohio never trailed, had complete control of this game from the opening tip. And Ohio improves to 19 and four on the season, seven and two in the MAC, just a game behind Akron. They tip later on tonight about 7:30 with Eastern Michigan. Ohio today, a little bit of a crazy game in the first half. 32 total three-pointers were taken, and not many of them were cashed in. Ohio just four of 20 from three-point range in the first half. Central Michigan just one of 12. But things got a lot prettier for Ohio in the second half, where they shot seven of 10 from three-point land. Nick Kellogg, four of 10 for the game. Walter Offit caught fire, four of five from three point range in the second half. He was four of six for the game. He led all scores with 17 points. Nick Kellogg, the other double digit scorer for Ohio, with 14. DJ Cooper, just nine points, but he had a really good game today as far as assists, seven assists, also seven rebounds. He was pacing for a triple double in the first half. Didn't quite get that. Left the game early with a wrist injury. So the win might have come with a little bit of a cost. DJ Cooper goes down with about five minutes left, a banged up wrist. Coach Gross said after the game he'll get x-rays on that. Hopefully he'll be good to go Wednesday night against Toledo. As far as things, everything's considered, Coach Gross loved the way his team played today, especially on the defensive end. That's where Ohio's really brought it the last couple of games. Their last six games, they've held opponents under 37%. That trend continued today. Central Michigan shot the ball just a 28% clip, 15 to 52 for the game, only 17% from three-point range. That's where Ohio, during this six-game run, they're pointing at defense has been the catalyst for this good stretch for the Bobcats. Coach Gross loving the way his team's playing, said they brought it all 40 minutes today. When they guard like that and they're getting some of the results they're getting, you know, you earn the right to be confident. And right now, you know, I think on the defensive end of the court, you know, our guys know if we're really locked in and we play like we're supposed to play, that we're going to be able, we're going to defend you. And if we defend you, then any given night, you know, you're going to have a chance to win. I think we're, we're, we're getting better, you know, defending. Um, every every game, we uh, coach girls emphasize defending and, and rebounding. Obviously, rebounding has to get better. But um, I, I think defense is, uh, I think it's continuing to get better each game. So all smiles at the Convocation Center today. Ohio never trails in this one, leads this one wire to wire en route to a 26-point win, 68-42. to Like I said, Ohio winners of six straight games. They're looking to make that seven straight Wednesday night when they travel to Toledo. It's a 7 o'clock tip. We'll see you then for the Bobcat Sports Showcase. I'm Blake Brody.